heroism. It's the pursuit of two ideals, excellence and a higher purpose. This noble mission is not just found in Hollywood. It's a game changer for businesses devoted to it. Almost all business owners launch their company to make a difference in the world around them. Join us on the heroic experience as we talk with business owners, senior leaders, and established entrepreneurs so that you too can elevate your business to heroic success. Now, here's your host, John D. Hansen. Welcome back to another episode of the Heroic Experience, proudly brought to you by Kaufman Media. Check out their digital signage solutions and far more on their website, kaufmanmedia.com, spelled C-O-F-F-M-A-N media.com. Happy to have Renee Vador, author of Measuring Up, How to Win in a World of Comparison, worldwide selling book, by the way, as well as founder of the Winner Circle Community as our guest today. Known Renee for years, a just wonderful person. We start off our first segment, Renee, with those wow stories of clients you've worked with. They may not have not even known who you were, and then they got introduced to you and their life changed. We'd love to hear a story or two from you this morning. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me here and for this opportunity. It's always a pleasure to speak with you. A couple of wow mm-hmm. stories. One thing that's neat is to think that anybody would be wowed by my story. And really, that is where my business begins. It's with our ability to have our pain turn into our purpose and potential. Yes. One just happened yesterday and I want to highlight because this woman is amazing Hmm. one of my clients and friends her name is Jenny McCauley and Jenny is someone who has an amazing story she joined the winter circle community earlier this year as she was getting ready to start her health and wellness coaching and she wanted to have community and support and a safe place to practice and it was a perfect spot for her As it turns out, she's had a rough year, a very, very rough year. And I was extremely excited yesterday when I read a blog post that she posted. Mm. And I want to say her blog is blessedbeyondbeliefblog.com. Check it out. This woman is so talented. Mm. But she shared on there her last winning week. And we talk a lot about winning. We talk about how we want to win in this world of comparison. We want to win in our businesses, in our spiritual lives, our personal, professional lives. Yes. And Jenny had a winning week at the beginning, and then she felt like she wasn't winning. And she went in and shared all of the details. Hmm. And I'm telling you, it was epic. It was epic because she showed how she decided to make it a winning week in the end. What touched me Hmm. and where I'm getting at with the wow point Mm -hmm. is we never really know how much we're impacting somebody. Yes. And she shared in this blog how Measuring Up was the book that she has actually completed this year. And typically, she she is a reader and she reads a lot, but it was such a rough year for her. Wow. And she shared a lot about that in the blog. I'll let you go read it. Hmm. But I'll tell you what, to hear that she finished that and made such an impact on her life and that now she's getting ready to, to pick everything up and get started with her health and wellness coaching in the new year and her plan and to see how the winter circle has supported her so much it was just it was something that i needed to hear yes and so i think it's so special when somebody else uses their gifts right and they share and then everybody is blessed by it right yeah and some people might think that renee's story has got to be incredible i'm sure that jenny's story is amazing my story is like you know it's like vanilla ice cream everybody likes it but it's not really that exciting But I have the personal belief, and I'd like to hear this from you, Renee. I have the personal belief that everyone is so incredibly unique because there never has been and there never will be another one of you, exactly of you. You're the only one ever in the course of entire humanity because life experiences can't be duplicated. You, they could clone you and you'd still be a different person because of your life choices and your experiences and your mentors and all that. So I think maybe if people kind of got away from comparing to others right Mm. and kind of zeroed in on what have i learned what have i gained Um, because our lives are for a purpose what would you say your experience has been kind of when that light bulb comes on for people because comparison is something we almost do subconsciously it seems what are some of the light bulb moments you've been able to help people discover about themselves through both the winter circle community and through your book that's a great question because it's not something that it's learned. 
learning how to Mm -hmm. use comparison to your benefit Ah. instead of your detriment is not something that comes naturally. One thing that I always teach to start, and this is something you can take in your business, your personal life, again, your spiritual life, is that there will always be comparison. Mm. And that was a light bulb moment for me. I yeah, used to right. hear that we had to eradicate it. Like, right. I mean, we need to stop Bad. comparing. Bad. Right? right, yeah. And yet, once I realized that it can actually be good and that I believe that we were created to compare. I mean, if you if you read the Bible, God compares. I mean, this mm-hmm. is not something that is that is in, innately wrong. It's how we use it. Mm-hmm. So mm. that is one of those mm. light bulb moments for people. And when they realize that and they stop judging themselves and they start using the wind method that I teach, that is, that's a light bulb moment that can change the course of their life. Mm. Mm. Well, we still got a couple minutes left. What's another story that comes to your mind of someone you've worked with? Oh, goodness. I know there's so many. <laughs> well, there are because... E- you know, a book goes out to people, right? And oftentimes we don't know what what happens with that. But there was a woman who reached out to me. She had found my book through another book that mine was mentioned in. Okay. And she was in the UK, mm. and she had a business that was a ranch, mm. and she turned it into a wellness ranch. Wow. Funny, I love wellness stuff, and it's neat when those come back around. Yeah. But she shared that she had been struggling big time. She had a lot of fear. She was comparing her business. She was comparing her life right. and her choices, all of that to other people that she was seeing. Yes. And while I didn't work one-on-one with her, just through a book, she read that and she's like, wow, I need to know more. I need to do more. I want to learn more. And she's like, even through that, I was able to stop comparing in a negative way to where I was able to move to the next level with her retreat center. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. that was huge for her because Mm. she, I mean, she's blossomed. I've watched her a little bit now that I, um, that she had reached out and I'm watching, I'm seeing like, wow, even having a tiny little part of that, because I don't think any of us are the soul. We're seeds. We're all planting seeds. Right. And we're all giving our goodness and our purpose out. And once we, once we choose to be who we're created to be and we discover who that is. Right. And then we do what we're designed to do. That is where we win at life and we make our impact on the world. Yes, yes, absolutely. Wow. Isn't that cool where a book refers your book and then you have something just sparks. It's like a catalyst where it's just the right idea, the right thought from from a fresh perspective is all it takes sometimes for someone to quote unquote get it, for somebody to click. And so the more positive sources of ideas we have flowing through our lives, the better off we are. Um, It also reminds me when you were sharing that we need to make sure that we have a platform to share our story because Mm -hmm. we're not the only ones. We're never the only one going through what we're going through. We might feel like it, but like nobody else is experiencing this. Eh, We're finding that not to be true. And imagine if you only helped one person that's going through the same thing you've been through and you're sharing with them what you learned, what you gained, how to get through it, wouldn't that be worth it? But then to multiply that times however many you could possibly just by developing a platform and sharing. Awesome, I always love those, so inspiring, but the part I love best is segment two, where we get to hear your story. So come back and join us after the break when we hear Renee Vador's personal story, her journey of how she got to become author of a worldwide selling book and make an impact in people's lives. So join us back after the break. Inspire, influence, and connect your audience with digital signage. Kaufman Media offers customizable digital signage solutions designed to meet your company's specific goals. Whether you need digital menu boards for your quick service restaurant, digital displays for marketing in your retail stores, or wayfinding and unified communications for your schools, your corporations, or your healthcare facility, our customizable, affordable options and proven experience make us the only partner you'll need for your next digital signage project. Visit KaufmanMedia.com today to learn more. That's C-O-F-F-M-A-N Media.com. Would you buy a car from a dealer without a test drive first? 
For your business, a consulting partner is even more important. Accelerated Revenue is excited to announce the Take Us for a Test Drive event. Receive two exclusive workshops on customer experience and winning culture, a customized culture snapshot, and a leadership strategy session worth over $10,000, all in for just $2,500. Best of all, when you onboard our consulting team, we'll credit you the entire $2,500. Spots are limited, so visit our website today at accrev.com slash test drive. Check out John's worldwide selling book, Wow Your Customers, Seven Ways to World-Class Service on Amazon. Now, once again, here's John. Welcome back to segment two of the Heroic Experience, proudly brought to you by Kaufman Media. You know, they don't just have digital signage solutions, and if you're not sure what that is, you need to go to their website to find out all about it and what else they do. Check out their website, kaufmanmedia.com. That's spelled C-O-F-F-M-A-N media.com. Happy to have Renee Vador. She is the worldwide selling author of the book Measuring Up, How to Win in a World of Comparison. If you don't have this book on your shelf, you have got to get it, and we'll ask her where to get it. She's also the founder of the Winner Circle Community, and who doesn't need a positive reinforcing community nowadays, especially? Renee, this is my favorite part of the show. This is where we get to hear, as far back as you want to go, we get to hear your story. Share with us. We'd love to hear it. All right. When we were talking in the first segment about our our experiences, mm-hmm. I thought, hmm, what part of my experience should I share? What is going to be most advantageous for those heroic business owners out there? Right. And when I think about that, I think I'm going to share a little bit deep today. How is that? Is that okay? We love deep. All Go right. for it. Perfect. All right. I'm going to share with you, starting back in... Um, let's say back college. I went, I have a psychology degree. I went to the OSU University, Ohio, the Ohio State. That's how I say it. (laughs) The Ohio State They'll get on you around here if you don't say the Ohio State. That's right. Yes. And I still live here in Columbus, Ohio, so I have to be really careful. (laughs) That being said, I was, I was at school for psychology, but I knew that I did not want to go into that field, Hmm. which I know that's strange, but Hmm. I want to give that out there for people who are like, you know, your passion, it's important to follow it. Because following it Mm. is going to lead you to put together that puzzle that is created for your life. Yes. So I went and I followed that. I I obeyed it. And when I was done, I actually ended up getting married before I was finished with college. And then we ended up having our first son. And I was blessed to be able to be a stay-at-home mom. Ah. But I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Right. And I'll tell you what. It was hard. So all of you you out there, if you're listening and you're a stay-at-home mom, are you have a wife that's struggling and feeling mm-hmm. like maybe, oh, there's more, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Just know that that is natural. And I used to compare myself to others and think, oh, I'm not a good mom. Gosh, how could I How could I not have as much passion as I should? And I'd should myself and all that kind of stuff. And I was like- <laughs> I like that, okay. should myself. <laughs> I was like, gotta mm-hmm. stop this, right? Right. It wasn't until, goodness, about 2015, where I, rec- I recognized I needed more personal development. Mm-hmm. I needed to get out there and get past. I was in a multi-level marketing company at the time. That was my more at the moment. Okay. And I love health and wellness, like I said. So I was in one of those companies. Nothing wrong with that. But there was something that was me that was trying to get out. And I couldn't through another company. Right. So when I went out there and looked at the personal development, I recognized a couple of areas I needed to grow in. Part of that was my identity. Mm. I had made my identity being a mom. And guess Ah. what? That is not our identity. That's one of our roles. Right, right. Just like being a business owner is not our identity. That's one of our roles. Mm -hmm. So who was I? As Mm -hmm. I discovered that, I ended up becoming certified in some of those programs and I started coaching. I started noticing that as I was growing, I was only maybe one step ahead of others, but they were following. Hmm. And I was like, wow, what's going on? I went through and I did a women's mastermind for a year. Okay, That was awesome. That was where I facilitated it. And then I recognized, wow, I I need to write this book. Mm. When I signed on with the publisher, I thought, oh, this is a one year, one year deal, right? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. No, this actually ended up being something to where I had to sacrifice time Mm -hmm. for writing. It doesn't even though I have an English minor, it does not come naturally. Some people can just, whoa, flow. Well, I'm more like a, yeah, drip, 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 right? It just, it wasn't working out well. But at the same time, the ideas were there. It was just getting them out. Right. I also took summers off to be with my family and travel and spend time with my kids. Mm -hmm. Well, then I got really sick. 
didn't mm. know what was going on. And this is where I'm just going to be authentic and let you guys know that this could be a little bit of an interesting topic for you okay. if you're not comfortable with personal things. Plug your ears for a minute. But <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was 27, I had breast implants mm-hmm. put in. And it was an anniversary present for my husband. Mm. Well, guess what? Nine years later, I ended up being very sick oh. and had no idea it was connected until thankfully other people shared their story. Oh, their stories. This, that's kind of the clincher here. This is yes. why I'm sharing this right now. Yes. I had no idea the connection. And once it clicked, it was, wow, I need to have these removed. Mm-hmm. Now I was writing a book called measuring up how to win in a world of comparison. And I'm <laughs> thinking to myself, what if, what if, even though I've come so far and I am using comparison now to my benefit instead of my detriment, what if when I have these removed, I feel like I am less than. Less than, yeah. What if I feel like I am unable to move forward with this message? What if it doesn't work? What if everything I'm teaching doesn't actually work? But I had to move forward because I needed to get well and I didn't care. Right, right. So I had those removed and I was 36 at the time. Wow, night and day. The mm. next day, I was actually better. I mean, really? I wow. and I increased from there. It was mm. wonderful. Tell you what, it works. It works. I was able now to really be who I am created to be. And there's no judgment for any women out there. Mm. I'm I'm one of those, right? Mm. I'm someone who wants to look good, feel good. Um, it's just it's an it's a whole complicated thing. But now that I've shared that story publicly, and I did, I shared my journey going through it. The book wasn't published yet. I was able to put those parts of the story into the book. book. And now I have women coming to me and saying, oh my gosh, is this one of the symptoms? Is this? Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. while I am not a doctor and I will never, I will coach women through to help them with their confidence and to help them know how to be who they are created to be and then do what they need to do to do what they're designed to do. Mm. And that way they're able to win at life. There's been at least, goodness, I say at least a dozen women who now have heard that story Mm -hmm. and husbands who have shared with their wives and at least a dozen of them have actually had what's called an explant procedure. Mm -hmm. And to see that impact has been amazing. Mm. So my story now, I do share about that. That is not my platform, but it's something that I share because it's so important and it is part of my story. It is part of your story. Absolutely. And who knows how many other people's stories could be a part of too. Yeah, absolutely. And and the confidence being even more important mm-hmm. than the actual explant procedure because that's that's an aspect of it. But it was really important for your message to be authentic. If you're talking about comparison and winning at life, mm-hmm. for you to have gone through that, to be able to include that element in your book. Because, okay, so say somebody doesn't have that particular yep. aspect in their life, they've got something else. They've got something else that they need to explant in their life. Yep. And so if they can identify what that is and remove that and still grow in their confidence and their purpose and their platform, that's got to be so rewarding. Isn't it, though? Yeah. And you are absolutely right. So many men have read that book. And I look at the Amazon reviews and they're mm. like, this is not just a book for women. And Good. I'm excited to hear that because they're able to take the stories within and utilize them so that they're overcoming fear. They're moving into the steps that they are called to do. Yeah. So that is what it's really about. And that's what my story is about. Just sharing authentically and allowing others to be authentic. Yeah. Well, when I heard the idea of your book that was coming out, I was so excited about it because I had already, I was starting to work on, I've got a book coming out next year about winning at life. And one of the aspects of it was you've got to have the right definition as a starting point of what winning at life looks like. Because it's different than what we've been told, what we've learned, what we've thought for so long. And comparison is a is a huge part of that of you know projecting what we see in someone else's lives only the parts we like and someone else's life on ours well we're going to have one more segment where we're going to dive into differentiators and how to best contact you where to get your book how to join this community the power of community all those things coming up in the next segment so don't go anywhere come back and join us for the last segment of the heroic experience we'll see you on the other side of the break Did you know that 70% of U.S. residents 12 and older recall seeing digital signage in the past week? Digital signage provides a 35% reduction in perceived wait time with a 30% increase in a customer's in-store browsing time. Kaufman Media offers customizable digital signage solutions designed to meet your company's specific goals. 
Christina said, We love our digital signage. The software is easy to use and we can publish content in minutes. It allows for every department to be seen and have a voice. Visit KaufmanMedia.com today to learn more. That's C-O-F-F-M-A-N Media.com. Attention event planners. Is your company or association planning a conference, seminar, or staff retreat? Are you looking for fresh ideas on high-demand topics like customer experience, leadership, empathy, customer service, earning, and keeping trust and more? Then you need to book John D. Hansen as your next speaker. Brooke said, Great presentation. John's concepts help shift my thinking. A good fit for my life right now. Read more testimonials, discover John's full list of speaking topics, check out pricing and more on our website, accrev.com slash keynote. Would you like to be a guest on the Heroic Experience? Contact us at john.hanson at accrev.com. Now, once again, here's John. Welcome back to the Heroic Experience. We are so grateful to be sponsored by Kaufman Media. Check out their digital signage solutions and far more on their website, KaufmanMedia.com. Let's spell C-O-F-F-M-A-N Media.com. Renee Vador, worldwide selling author of Measuring Up, How to Win in a World of Comparison, powerful story. And not just the element we talked about in the last segment, but doesn't everybody deal with comparison? I loved how, rewind the tape, so to speak, and go back to that first segment where she talks about the fact that comparison can be a tool and how to use it. She's also the founder of the Winner Circle community. And I want to open up this this last segment, Renee, of the power of community. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, wasn't that ever underlined as strongly as ever in the last year and a half of the, not just the importance, but the critical value of community, um, how much we need that as people. Uh, what's been your experience in the Winner Circle community um, that people, the feedback they've given you, the experience they've had as they become a part of that. Yes, I agree with you completely. Community is so essential. And without it, we flounder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A couple of the words that I hear constantly from members in the winner circle, and it's oftentimes what they're looking for. So it's great to hear that they are finding it, but is a safe place. Mm-hmm. So often we are segmenting our lives. Mm-hmm. We go out into the world and we're a business owner or we're a professional or we're at home and we're a mom or a dad or a spouse or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we go to church and then we're a spiritual person on Sundays, but we're having to hide it throughout our lives because we feel we have to segment all of these things. Mm. And yet inside the winner circle, we combine all of those elements so you can truly be who you're created to be. And finding that safe place to practice, to do things wrong, to fail forward, those are some of the words that I hear. Mm. Mm. Yes. and. And failure, boy, when I was writing my first book and working on the second, it just gave me a wonderful, t- uh, just like comparison as a tool, uh, failure, if it's viewed as that, because it's not the opposite of success, the opposite of success is just giving up. We we don't fault babies for falling down, I don't know how many times until they actually take, the first step is like the biggest deal, riding the bike. I don't know how many times I crashed as a kid and hurt myself doing it, but nobody faults a kid for doing that. And yet somehow as adults, we think we cross this barrier. And now because we're adults, we're not allowed to fail. And so I've loved the positive messaging that I've been hearing from more and more people as I've been more and more plugged into social media in the past few years about the people who are highly successful. Failure was a part of the recipe to get them to what did work. Dyson, this shocked me. I just read this a few months ago. Dyson created the vacuum cleaner. Over 3,000 iterations to get wow. to. I would have quit at like 298. I wouldn't have made it past 3,000, but he knew, no, I've got a good idea. I'm going to stay with it until it works the way it's supposed to. Failure was just simply eliminating. That didn't work. What do I try next? So in the ability to fail forward, community is a powerful thing, and especially when it's positively reinforced mm-hmm. so that people can be authentic. Authenticity is so powerful nowadays. What's the best way, first of all, that they can get a copy of your book. If you don't have this on your bookshelf, the measuring up, how to win in a world of comparison, where's the best place to get that? You're welcome to go to barnesandnoble.com. You can go to Amazon. Right now they've been running a special on it. Maybe they still are mm, when you listen. Special? Who doesn't like that? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it is available in bookstores worldwide. And if it's not at your library yet, go and request it because mm. you're welcome to have them pull it up there as well. It's Great. Ebook, audiobook. So it's at... ACX as well. So. Yeah. 
Now, how about the Winter Circle community? The Winter Circle community, you can find through, right now we've been running it through a Facebook group, but guess what, John? I'm so excited. At the yeah. beginning of the year, we are moving over to our private platform. Ooh. I am stoked. It's it's amazing. Ah, that's but, gotta be exciting. Yes, it is. So right now, you can go to BeALifeWinner.com. I will tell you, I was having a couple technical difficulties on that this week. So if mm-hmm. you do, just reach out to me personally. I'm very very welcome if you want to send a message. Yeah, and you're on LinkedIn, you're on Facebook. What other platforms are you on? I am on Instagram. I'm not super hot there. Me but, neither. You know, I love LinkedIn. I do Facebook oh, quite a bit. Yes, those t- LinkedIn is by far my favorite. Mm-hmm. Connected with people around the world through it. So there are all kinds of ways to get a hold of you. What would you say, Renee, if someone asked you, all right, there's literally millions of coaches out there nowadays. How do you differentiate yourself in this space? How do you have a unique offering to people that might be interested considering, you know, I've thought about adding a coach to my life. Why should they reach out to you? That's a great question because that's something I ask myself when I'm looking at coaches. Mm. All right. That's one thing that I think is important when you are looking to hire a coach is that, is that coach being coached? (laughs) We need to make sure that we are continually growing. And one, I look at a, within the winner's circle, one thing that we talk about is Mm. the winner's pace. And the winner's pace is making sure that we are having progress Mm. constantly. That's personally, spiritually, and professionally. So when I'm coaching someone, whether it is one-on-one or whether it's a group coaching or within a community, that's important is having progress. Also accountability. Mm. If if you're going to be working with me, you're going to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. And I will learn the way that works best for you. Sure. But you, you must be motivated and willing to work. Yes. And community, I highly recommend community. I don't believe any of us can do this life on our own and be successful and win. No. And And not have massive impact either. Exactly. And to me, that is what winning is. Winning has nothing to do with like, oh, I feel good. No, it's so much more than that. Winning is something where we are making our impact on this world. Mm -hmm. And then encouragement. That's the E in pace. We need encouragement. And it's not just from community. We need encouragement from ourselves. We need to learn how to encourage ourselves. Yes. So I am constantly teaching our, our clients, how to be able to encourage others and encourage ourselves. Mm-hmm. So those are a couple of the things that when I am working with someone, typically what I'm hearing is people feel comfortable. Okay. They feel like they are safe. Mm-hmm. They, they are not feeling like they're getting too much, but at the same time, they're not walking away without. So that, that's something that I've heard is that people just feel like they can talk to me and The other thing is a differentiator is that I'm not going to take on people that I feel I'm not going to be able to make a big impact with. Yes. I will refer. I believe it's so important that Mm -hmm. we do not take on ourselves what what is not meant for us Mm -hmm. and that we don't mess around with other people's lives. So just the other day I had someone come to me and I said, you know, I know just the perfect person for you. I let me make the connection, introduce you. Mm hmm. That is one thing that I bring. We are starting a the Winner's Peace Mastermind coming mm-hmm. up in January, mm-hmm. which is not just me. That's <laughs> I am not the only person in the world, and I love to bring together. I'm a connector, so that's that's my one of my superpowers. Okay, but I love to bring people together that can really work together. So with this mastermind, yes, I am coaching in it, but also there's a spiritual coach, there is a 20 year veteran like Enneagram identity coach. Hmm for that personal development and there's a business coach because I don't claim to be a great business person at the same time I have a lot of good ideas so you can Mm -hmm. ask (laughs) (laughs) yes well all good stuff Um, I think in a space where something has gotten so popular uh, just like the number Mm -hmm. of podcasts have exploded the number of coaches out there has exploded that one thing I want to circle back to that you said is is that coach being coached I know that sounds like a little redundant like well of course they've probably been mentored or whatever developed to the point where they feel that they can but if we ever get to the point where we've arrived and john maxwell said the greatest danger is today's success what got us here won't get us there Mm -hmm. and having a coach in our lives to help us then coach others you can't pour from an empty cup and i guess that's how i would see coaching and if i'm asking other people to invest in themselves Mm -hmm. right i better be investing in myself. yeah that wouldn't be authentic would it well thoroughly enjoyed our time together If you want to tune into the Heroic Experience, you can find it on our website, accrev.com. You can find it on Spotify, Podbean, our YouTube channel, Accelerated Revenue, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. 
Join us back for the next episode of the Heroic Experience where we are committed to elevating your business to heroic success. This has been the Heroic Experience. To learn how your business can be profitable and heroic, visit accrev.com. For access to free weekly content, subscribe to the Accelerated Revenue YouTube channel and follow John D. Hansen on LinkedIn. To listen to archived shows, find them on the Accelerated Revenue website under the Resources tab, accrev.com.